Hi guys, I welcome you all back to my channel. My name is Aisha. In today's video, I will be showing you how to cut and sew short knicker with curb M belt and pockets. I will be showing you the full details on how to cut it and how to sew it. Thank you all for your support. God bless you all. If you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. my Ankara fabric that I'll be using for the short knicker. I have two years of Ankara and I have the rubber that I'll be using for the waist. So let's start. See, I'll fold my fabric into two. So this is it. I'll be cutting the front aspect first. To get your folding this way, the tart I'm using is 26 and a half. So I'll come here, I'll check maybe my measurement is more than 26 and a half. When you divide your 26 into two so that will give you 13 plus so i have more than 13 inches here you can see i still have one two three four so like four inches four and a half inches so i still have four and a half inches left here so that means my folding is okay the knicker i'm about to cut our band i'll be adding two inches band to it and the full length i'm using is 19 inches so i will need to minus two inches from the full length so if I should minus 2 inches from my full length, the 2 inches for the band, I will minus it from the full length of the knicker that you are about to cut. So 2 inches minus 19, that will give me 17 inches. So I have 17 inches left. So I will come here. This is our starting point. starting point I'll measure 17 inches downward so this 17 inches so and at the down aspect so I'll be adding curve M to the down aspect so I will need to add the inches that we use for my curve M to the down aspect so i'll be making use of three and a half three and a half so i'll come here i'll measure three and a half inches here that i'll be using for my curve m so this is three and a half you can see so i'll be using for my curve m so this three and a half you can see it when you come to the upper part a for us to get our hip length and our crush length you know we've already minus two inches from the full length for the band so you come here you remove that two inches you can see how i place my taper two inches i've removed the two inches this two inches so i'll come here i'll measure my hip so i'm making use of nine inches for the hip length so this is the hip length And for my crush length, I'm making use of 11 and a half. To get your crush length, you ask your client to sit on his two. And you measure the person from the waist to the point of that two. You can see that's the picture of how to get your crush length, your perfect crush length. You ask your client to sit that way and you take that measurement from the waist of that person. Where that person wants a band to start from so you take your measurement from that point to the sitting position so that's how to get your perfect crush length so the crush length i'm using is 
11 inches i will be adding half inch to it so making 11 and half so this is 11 and half you can see so this is it this short sneaker i'm about to cut i will be making use of elastic I will be adding elastic to the back aspect. I'm not adding elastic to the front aspect, the back aspect only. So now we'll come to the waist. Here we will not be making use of our exact waist measurements. You are not making use of your exact weight measurement. You will make use of your hip measurement because if you should use your exact waist measurement at the waist, you won't be able to put on the trouser. You know, we are not adding zip to it. So, you make use of your hip measurement at the waist measurement. So, you make use of your hip measurement at the waist. So, I'll come here. I'll come to the waist. The hip I'm using is 43. So, I'll measure my hip. So, this is 43. So, you divide your hip by 4. You divide your hip by 4. So, this is 43. I will be adding 2 inches to it plus 2 inches you can see so you have 2 inches to it so I will come to the hip also this is the hip line so I will measure that same 43 this 43 I will add 2 inches to it so you make it a straight line you make it a straight line you can see so this is it so are the crush length so this is our crush length we'll be making use of our tart measurement here our tart measurement you measure your tart round so i mean your lap you measure your lap round so i'll be making use of my tart measurement here and the tart i'm using is 26 and a half so I'll come here. I will divide my tart into two. You divide your tart into two. So 26 and a half divided by two. So I have 13. So this is it. Plus one and a half inch. So I'll be adding one and a half inch to it here. Plus one and a half inch. So you had one and a half inch to it. You can see. So this is it. So you can see, so I had one and a half inch to hit here. So now I will shape it to meet here. So you shape it from here. You can just give it curve this way. So you curve it. You can see. So you curve it to meet this way. So this is it you can see it so now to the down aspect here the measurement I took here is 23 inches so you divide your 23 by 2 so whatever you whatever measurement you took at the down aspect here you divide it by 2 so I have 23 divided by 2 so this is it I will add two inches to hit also. So you had that two inches to hit also. So this is the two inches. You had two inches to hit also. So whatever you took here, you divide it by two and had two inches to hit also. So I'll come here. I'll come to the down aspect here also. I'll take that same measurement. So that same 23 divided by two. So I have it here. So this is it. So I'll add two inches to hit also, so you can see. So this is it. So this is it. So from here you shape it to meet this. So you can see. So you shape it to meet this this way. So you can see it. I'm not adding that to it. So it's a free pant. So you can see. It. So let me take it again from the waist you make use of your hip measurement at the waist you don't make use of your 
waist measurement you make use of your hip measurement and add two inches to it you come to the hip you make use of your hip measurement also and add two inches to it here yeah? so and at the crush you make use of your tart measurement so you divide your tart measurement by two and add one and a half to it so i had one and a half to it here yeah? so and at the down aspect a so you know we are making use of curve m so that's the reason for the three and a half inch so that's why i'm making use of three and a half inch because if i should make use of two two inches for the folding here it won't be enough because it's curve m that i'm making use of at the down aspect a so that's the reason for the three and a half inch so here at this point so here at this point here so you the measurement you took there so at the down aspect of your shot at the edges here you divide it by two also and add two inches to it so same measurement here so you can see that as well about the so that now i will be cutting it out i'm not adding that to it because we are making use of elastic So add it down here, we give it shape this way. You can see. So add it down aspect here, you shape it this way. You know, we fold it up. So when you fold it up, so that this place will be equal with this down aspect. So you shape it here this way, you can see. So you shape it here this way, and the down aspect here. So you can see, so you can see the reason for that. So this is the reason for that. You can see. So we shape it that way and now aspect here. So I've split it into two. I've placed the front aspect to cut the back aspect. So I place it on the back aspect. So this is it. So now you come to the crush. So this is our crush. You can see so this is our crush so this is our crush so you come to the crush so at the crush here i will be adding one and a half inch one and a half inch so you had one and a half inch to hit here so add the crush you can see so you had one and a half inch to it at the crush now you come to the hip line also so you can see the way i bend my tip so you bend your tip this way up so you can see so i'll have one and a half inch to hit here also from here you measure one and a half so this is one and a half so you can see so from here now you shape it upward to meet this point so it should be the same so i'll shape it this way so you can see so you shape it this way you come to the down aspect here so I'll be adding one inch to hit a one inch, just one inch. So that one inch, you shape it to meet the crush. You can see. So this is it. So you shape it this way also. This is our the reason for this you know at the back aspect there is boot at the back aspect we have boot up at the back aspect so that's the reason for this one and a half inch so that the trouser will not go in at the back aspect when you join it now i will be cutting it out So this is the front and the back aspect. See, so this is the front aspect. I will be adding pockets to the front aspect. So you come to this side, to this side of the trouser. So you go inward at the upper part A, you go inward by two and a half inch. So this is two and a half. And I'll come downward by six and a half. So this is six and a half. You can see. So this is six and a half inch. So from there, so I'll just shape it this way you can see so 
so you can see you give it shape this way but you cut it out you can see this is it for our pockets so for us to cut our band you can see you fold your fabric this way you double it this way so and i will need to double it like this you can see to like this you double it like this that's how i'm going to place it on the short from here you know we double it two inches plus two inches that will give us four inches plus another one one inch for the joining so i'm making use of six inches here so this is six inches you measure your hip you divide your hip by four i'm making use of a three so i'll divide it by four so this is what i have so plus that two inches that we had to hit so this is the two inches so straighten it downward so i'll slit it this way so this is our band so this, one. So this is our band the front and the back aspects so i've cut the band for the front and the back aspects so you can see so this is it so you can see so you don't need so at the front aspect i will be adding estate to hit at the front aspect but i will not be adding estate to the back aspect of the band so now for the pocket i'm cutting the two pockets together you fold it this way you can see so this is it And that's the front aspects so we'll be placing the front aspects on it this way so this is it so so you come here so you measure like three inches or four inches downward so this is it so i'll make use of three and a half so i'll come here i'll make use of three and a half so this is three and a half so you can see so this three and a half so from there so so you cut this out so this is it so now for us to get the hooking, so you open it this way. You open it this way. You open your pocket this way. You know you can't cut the two side, so it's only one side that will cut. So you open it this way. You can see. So and you shape it same shape. Set. so now when we turn it back like this so this is what we have so also, we turn it back like this this is what we have so, so now i'll be showing you the sewing aspects so there's the pockets and those are the front aspects so first i'll be sewing the pockets to the front aspect so you pick one of it so this is it you can see so and those are the pockets so you can see the right aspect facing each other and you place your sewing on it Come here, we'll wash it. So you open it this way. I'll top stitch it. So you top stitch on the pocket, so you place it this way. You can see. So I'm top stitch on it. Make sure you are using matching thread. So this is it. You can see it. So now we we'll come to the back aspect here. So I'll be placing sewing on this down aspect. So the pocket. So we place sewing on it. So you 
sewing so this is it so you can just place the sewing on it this way so you can see so this is it this is the same thing applies to the second side see i'm done with the two side of the pocket this is it so now i'll be placing the front aspect together this way you pick the front the both the front aspects so you pick it this way you can see so and you come to the center here and join it at the center here so with half inch You can see so this is the front aspect so this is it i have the upper part here of the pocket so i'll be placing sewing at the upper part here so you place your sewing this way so now this is our front aspect so now i'll be picking the back aspect so this is the back aspect i'll come to the center here as in the center back i'll Join it with half inch also. Okay, this is it. This is the front aspect, and I've had ST to the band of the front aspect. So this is it. You fold it this way to get the center point. So this is our center point. So you can see. So this is it. So from here, you can just open the center of the front aspect. So this is the front aspect. So you come to this center here. So you open it this way. You can see, you open it this way. So from the back aspect like this. So you can see. So you join it to hit this way you can see so i will be joining it to it this way you can use your pin to hold it at the center here so i will join it to it so this is it so for the back aspects i also had the band to it also at the back aspect the notch the band at the back aspect also so you can see i'm not adding st to the band of the back aspect so this is it you can see it so i'll be placing it on it so you can see so when you turn it to the front you can see so this is it so now at the back aspect i'll be adding elastic to it this is the elastic you'll we'll be using you fold your you fold your back aspect into two okay. so this is my elastic i place it on it this way you can see so from here i will add two or two and a half inch to it so you can just add two or two and a half inch so you can see so i'll add two and a half inch to it so this is two and a half inch so i'll cut it out from there so that's how i used to get my elastic at the back aspect so you can see so this is it so I'll just do it this way so I'll come here now so I'll join it to this edge so you come here you go upward like half inch so you go upward a bit like half inch so from here you can see you go from the from here you go upward like half inch so when you place your sewing there. So. See, I've stitched the elastic to one side of the nicker, the back aspect. So this is it. So now I will be placing sewing on it. So I will need to draw it this way. So you place it like this. So you place sewing on the center point first. So you draw it this way.
inch like one inch left you can cut it out so the excess that we have just cut it out so now i'll be folding it to the front aspect so you bring the band to the front aspect like this and you place your sewing on it downward so let me do that draw it this way you can see the way i draw it so you draw it see so this is it so now i'll be placing sewing on it okay, i'll place two stitch on the elastic so from i'll place one at the down aspect here and i'll place the other one at the upper part here So you can see so this is the back aspect so i'm true with the band of the back aspect this is the front aspect fold it this way this is the front aspect so you fold the band this way and place your sewing on it downward So this is the front aspect at the center here. So you open this stitch this way. This is the back aspect and this is the front aspect. So you open the two stitch at the center. This way you open it. This way. You can see. So you open it like this make sure it meets make sure it's equal at the same time so you can just use your pin to hold it down so you can see it so make sure it's equal so from there you bring this down this way so you can see so now This is the center at the front. You can see that it meets. So make sure everything meets. So this is it. Now I will be joining this at the side with half inch. So you come here. You so I've joined it at the side. So you can come here to confirm your tat. So you come here to confirm your tat. So you can see. So you can see what we have here. So this is it. I've joined the two side. This is it. So this is our trouser. You can see it. So now we'll come to the down aspect here. I'll be folding the down aspect. So we are using three and a half for the folding at the down aspect because of the curve end. So this is it. So you measure your three and a half. So I'll come to this side. So you open this side of your seam the side seam you open it this way you open the side seam so we have three and a half here you can see so this is it so you can just use your pin to hold it after open you use your pin to hold it down you open the second side so we have three and a half so this is it so you open it this way also and hold it with pin So now I'll be placing sewing on it. I will fold it in this way and place my sewing on it. I've turned it. So now we'll be turning it to the front aspect. For us to give it a curved head, you can see you pick it this way. 
this is it and fold it in like one and uh, one inch in like this so you can see so this is it so and i will place my sewing on this side so this is sewing here come to this side also to the center here same thing applies to it also here so you come here you fold it this way let's see so you fold it in. and you place your sewing on it I'm done with the two side this is it so you make sure the sewing is not showing at the so when it's curves you can see so the showing the sewing will not show inside so the sewing will be at the inside see this is our short maker the front and back so and this is the down aspect i will be adding belt o to the side the front air and the back aspect so because i will be adding belt to it See, I will be using this as belt O. I will be placing it on the necker. So I will cut three, three inches. So you know we are still going to fold it this way. So I will need to cut three, three inches of it. So you can see. I will be cutting five of it. So I have five of it. This is it. So now you come to the side. I'll be placing one at the side here, the two side, and I'll place one at the side here, and I'll place one at the back. So one will be at the center back here. So this is it. So I will be placing it this way, like this. Fold it like this. You can see you fold it a bit in like this and place it. And place your sewing on it. From this center here, I will be coming backward by six inches. So that's where I will be placing the, the belt O. So same thing applies to the other side too. From this center, you go backward also. This is where the belt O will be. So, you can see. So, come here. See, this is our shot. I've added the belt O to the side, to the front. So, two at the front and two at the side and one at the center back. You can see and i have my belt here i've sewed the belt you can see this is the belt so now i will be passing the belt in so let me do that so you pass your belt inside so, okay, so this is it and you knot it at the front so you knot it here at the front so that's all about the short knicker if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks for watching bye